quickly. We've got a bit of time to digest really what we were speaking about at the top of the show or top of the hour uh, when Ian Ladyman from the Daily Mail had joined us. And, and we were talking about tomorrow night, what we're going to see mm. from, from England. And Ian is hoping that we're kind of going to see near enough the first 11 that we might see starting against Iran in that first game of the World Cup, just yeah. because get some confidence into this side going into that. <sighs> Is that what you expect to happen? No. 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 Okay, go on. I'd be amazed if he didn't select players that were not playing or didn't play any part in Milan last Friday. Because why the hell would you bring them into a squad and not actually use them, utilise them? People like Tamore, obviously yeah. Ivan Tony. Yeah. They're gonna they have to play. There's no point. Now England are out of the group, <laughs> you know, they're relegated. You have to play these guys mm. to get an idea of whether you think they can make the grade of being good enough to play for England. Um, yes, it's a one-off opportunity, but if I was having Tony, I'd take a one-off opportunity to make a point. And uh, saying that, you know, the one player I want him to play with is Kane. And now Kane played for I want him to play Kane alongside him because Kane isn't a player. He's so versatile as a striker. You can go, you drop in the holes, let mm -hmm. Tony. That doesn't mean you play direct. That doesn't mean you start booting the football forward. What you can do is you can have two centre forwards who can appear like Shearer and Ferdinand, Shearer and Sheringham, two players that can get into positions of danger. And maybe that's a better solution for someone out wide who's crossing the balls and, you know, they don't have to be as precise when they're... Because quite clearly against Italy the other day, the crossing was awful. Mm -hmm. Now, they were poor crosses, but there wasn't very much to aim at either. There wasn't enough bodies in dangerous areas in the 18-yard box. So I'd like to see that option. Just don't make the team go suddenly start booting it from you know, the back to the front really mm. quickly. Mm. So Ivan Tony deserves a chance, like tomorrow he does. And uh, the boy at Palace, uh, Mark um, Gaye. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Mark Gaye. Uh, yeah, he, yeah. They, deserves, they deserve a chance to go, right, I'm going to put you in. I mean, otherwise, why select them? Because if you didn't play them, I'd be asking the question, what was the point of them being in the squad? Oh, well, it would in a way be scandalous, wouldn't it? Well, to me, it's negligence. Yeah. It's your, as a coach's job, as a manager's job, it would be negligent to not play them when you've selected them and you're out of a competition that you've got an opportunity to have a good look at other options. Mm. And Gareth can easily go afterwards and if it didn't come out the right result, say, look, I needed to do this. I needed to look at people, players that I need in the World Cup I might be calling upon at some time. I had to do this. Yeah, You know, it's... Uh, I think it's to me it's such an obvious. I don't believe he will go with a side that's going to be the starting lineup of the team that opened the World Cup for England. It will be nowhere near that type of team. Mm. Um, and I mean, must, I mean, Ian obviously made the point, and it made sense in a way that obviously if you you do want to get your first eleven with as much confidence going into the World Cup, and if they were to get a good victory over Germany, that would be great. This isn't about a confidence game. No. You've got two months to go. You don't need a confidence well, game. Yeah, well, they that's need... where club form comes into. Yeah, that's well, where you get your confidence. If you were playing next Saturday, Nat, I would say, well, of course, you sure. you, you want to. But you've got a long two months, yeah, you yeah. know. You've got yeah. a long time before your opening game. And no, it's about looking at other options. You know really 80 or 90% of your squad already. And if you don't, you should do. Um, take that on board. Use this game to have a look at certain individuals Ivan Tony could break through the back door and get a chance. Like, Tomori could come back in the frame. He's been in it with England before. But, you know, you've got to have a look at other options to me. Just briefly, because I know we have to get to a break, but with Ivan Tony then, this is his one opportunity in an England shirt before the World Cup. Mm. As we were saying, Club 4 might come into it and he might still be guaranteed a place in this squad. You know what it's like to have that first game in yes. an Ireland shirt. What's the what's the message? What's the what will you be telling him to do? Is it a case of don't snatch at things, just be composed no. as normal? Your fans will love you making your debut. Okay, yeah. so there'll be a real optimism about Ivan Tony playing the game because the England fans will want to see something different from what they saw in Milan. So give him the best chance to be successful, and that's why I say you even change formation, get Kane alongside him because I think he's a great foil, and that might be an option you could use in the World Cup. You know what Tammy could do. You don't know what Ivan Tony can do in an England shirt. But there'll be a lot of enthusiasm. And until what, I, I made my debut in Switzerland for Republic of Ireland. The fans were incredible to me. Cheered every time I got the ball. And I played up front with Frank Stapleton, who was an absolute legend. Played for Arsenal, Man United. Was a big star at both clubs. And, you know, that experience for me will always sit for me. I remember that game like it was yesterday. 
Same minute. for Ivan Tony. Home game as well, exactly. Wembley. Exactly, that's home. Great maybe some home comforts there. Last time he played at Wembley, it was pretty successful for him. So, remember <laughs> that playoff final? Ooh, mm, I mentioned Brentford. Anyway. He uh, loves it, though. He, 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 no. does, he does love the pressure. You can oh, tell he that. He does, yeah. he does. He's got that... He's um, got a bit of swagger about him, hasn't he? So I'm sure he'll relish the, the opportunity if it's given to him. But England against Germany, live tomorrow night here on TalkSport. Seven o'clock, our coverage begins.